Hello everybody, Kaius23 here and welcome to The Wandering Village. <clears throat> so this is a game I saw, actually I think on Facebook at one point, that was just like an ad for something. So I kind of followed the development, wishlisted on Steam, heard nothing for the longest time. And recently this just came out on Early Access on Steam. So I'm excited. It's simplest terms base building on the back of a giant creature and you quote unquote wandering around on the creature I don't know if you control the creature or what you're in safe familiar territory care for your village as you slowly venture more danger yeah we're going with novice um my typical one we're just going novice because I have no idea how to play this game. I always like to go in kind of learning. From our homes by the toxic spores, we kept wandering, looking for shelter. But not in our wildest dreams did we imagine what we would find. Oh. Feed and hear your unbu. Is that what the creature's called? Is an unbu? Welcome, friend. I am the village elder in charge of the good people here. Our people, the Neomans, have traveled far and endured many hardships throughout the years, but now we have come across as come across an unbu, an ancient beast believed to have gone extinct centuries ago. Our encounter must have been fated. It most likely been asleep in ground for it has most likely been asleep in the ground for a long time. Maybe it woke up because the toxins kept seeping further and further into the earth. The poor thing seems exhausted and has gone back to sleep for now. I once read that Onbu draw their nutrients from the ground, so I wonder if it can sustain itself out here. Seems like we need to take care of each other from now on. My experience has brought our people here, but now it is time for you to take over and lead them to a better place. To ease the transition, I could teach you a little of what I've learned. Tutor even. A tutorial, so to say. What do you think? Open the Elder's Book. What did you have? Press the button in the top right. So that one. As long as you can do so. Your villagers shelter and food, research new talent. Yeah. If your villagers or Onbu die, it's game over. Oh boy. Pause the game with the pause button. Fast forward. Four times. Oh boy. And you can see space to pause. Good. Zoom in by scrolling or with the buttons underneath the speed adjustments. Enter Onbu view. Oh, and the world view. Ho! Oh. Construct at least six tens. So I'm guessing this way we control where he goes. This way we build stuff. So at least six tens. You turn them? No. Ooh, excuse me. Okay. Oh, I can press shift. <laughs> My bad. That's actually a cool little graphic. I like that. One, two, three. Six. Some of your villagers are still homeless. To build more tents, have them gather wood by harvesting nearby trees. You can always check your villagers' needs by clicking on the happiness indicator in the top right corner. You can harvest trees quickly by using the harvest tool. So this. Let's get some food in there too. Okay, so there's other games that use that harvesting tool to show where you want them to harvest and stuff. I prefer games that are just like, hey, chop this wood or your lumberjack just chop the wood maybe there's a, vi a building that will do that hmm. strike at least eight tenths I don't know why I didn't hold shift. But reduce. Oh! 
but reduces Anbu's trust. Okay, so we don't destroy the spikes. So we keep the spikes, but we can basically mine everything else. You villagers are going to need food. One sustainable way to get food is by constructing a berry gatherer in your berry bushes. The food category. Oh. Oh. To construct a berry gatherer in future buildings, you might have to harvest more resources. When you have multiple open tasks, such as harvesting construction, it might be. So I do that and set priority to highest. Ah, to ensure the city supply of food, build a farm on grass soil. This is grass. Okay. Poison. Interesting. Plus, I have as much as ingredients for umbu food. Makes wood planks from wood. Extracts water from the air. <clears throat> I guess we should probably wait. Don't mind. Here in the last three. Yep. Still need more wood. Getting the hang of it. <laughs> I have 16 villagers. Okay, I see this. It's how much food, it's how many people I have. Umber is currently down, ground toxicity is none. Community is none, it's a little cold. being built now. I feel like we need a storage. Ah, I see. So if I place this down here... I know I'm getting ahead of the game, but I'm I'm, I'm learning. Ugh. Your farm raised the flight to notify you that something is not working correctly. This is because it needs plots to plant its crops. Select the farm to add plots. In the same window, you can adjust the number of workers to make. Okay. As well, belly this up. Might as well get all the plots going. Assign the amount of workers in your farm to at least three. Okay. Planting crops requires water. Build air wells to automatically collect water. You know it's gonna need them. I forgot to hold shift.
Okay. So I got people harvesting berries. I got people farming, and I got some gatherers going. Okay. You got this, you got this. A sawmill. I don't have a sawmill yet. That's interesting. Oh. Excuse me. He's awake. Okay. Interesting. Okay. <sighs> also apologize if I seem really tired. Uh, it's been a long few days for me. I know I'm tired like almost every episode. I work at three, four in the morning. I get up at three. Now even on my other days, like Tuesdays, you know, normally I could sleep until about seven o'clock before I have to get my daughter off to school. No, no, no. Now I have to get up at five thirty to get her off to school because she's taking the early bus because of chorus and band. My only day to really sleep in is Saturdays, and even then, my daughter at the butt crack of dawn decides coming. Daddy, daddy, get up. So I'm just kind of tired out of it. Ugh. I feel like I haven't said anything for a while, and I don't know why. Oy. Okay, we're gonna need enough. Uh, one of this. These. Construct the air well, though. Give me a stone. Put another person in. Split those to. I didn't think you could do that, but I'm glad you can. But those are harv high harvests. So, where exactly are we heading to? Okay, I can't do it. Mine. Quarry, mine, forest. Build a scavenger hunt to be able to send expedition parties to this location. Okay, so we're going to be able to go mining at some point. Pretty cool.
wonder if we could build up this way. Probably not. Okay. Now it's just basically the waiting game. Speed everything up. There we go. All resources you are now producing will require some sort of storage. Build a pantry to store food, water tank to store food, and material storage to store various kinds of resources. Okay. Basically just one of everything I already have going. Let's get you out of the way first. Ah, I can use a priority tool. Okay. What the heck is that? A growing mushroom harvesting it doesn't yield anything. So we'll wait to harvest it. I need a lot more wood. So the Anbu actually has health. I wonder if there's a way like if we get attacked or something. Or if it's just like the poison and stuff. Or if we don't feed him. <sighs> Unfortunately, the wood needs to start flowing. that one specifically wood. Keep a general one down here for now. Come on, put the wood in. Nine. Well, at least you can see where they're going. Get those priority over this little contraption I have. I, oh, I was going to say, I wish there was harvest trees only, because then I can go like this. And it's not going to harvest the berries. Cool. Okay. Sounded like we were stepping on something. Water tank constructed. Herc, yeah. So now we need to start taking this water and putting it in there. Six more things of wood. There we go. Nice little community going. I have a feeling it's going to be like one of the next things. Mm, 
handle this over here. Maybe. I feel like the herbalist doesn't need as much room. Come on, throw the wood in. The last three. Housing for up to six and no cottage. Commands uncle to sleep. Ooh, feeding tre feeding trebuchet. Feeding pump. Oh boy. Black pudding. Extract bile from the Ombu's gallbladder. Uh oh. What did I just kick? Uh oh. What the heck is that? Oh, that's my keyboard. <laughs> There's a cord I just randomly kicked. Thankfully, everything's still going good. <laughs> Hurry up. Come on. This is too much in its inventory. Need more people. That's what I need. Hey, there we go. To build more advanced buildings, like a kitchen that prepares higher quality food, you need to research them first. A, A. Who was already on it? Who was already on it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Click the star icon, which indicates what research is needed. What? The star icon indicates which research is recommended. Oh. oh, you just click it once and that's it. Okay. Good to know. But well, we're going to have a ton of food. Group of nomads looking for a new home. <gasps> That's how we get new people. I wish you could rotate this. But it's all just one plane. At some point we'll use it. Y'all happy. Sweet. So seven people unemployed. Hey, we've been traveling a lot. 
You're often going to need workers for basic tasks like constructing buildings and harvesting and transporting resources. Build a worker post. I already did. At least two workers as carriers for your working post. Oh, I know what I could do. Do that. And designate them as carriers instead of actual, like, miners and gatherers and stuff. Either researching. Actually, let's go to Umbu. I wonder if like we'd be able to see them or something. Three more set up. Come on. I want to see if they're actually like down there and stuff. You can encounter a small group of nomads looking for a new home. Will you let them join the village? Yeah, pick them up. Why not? We need more people. The man's joined your village. Three people. Cool. So we got more people now. Good. <laughs> Hit you. Harvesters. You are harvesters too. That was my issue. I had them in general, which means they still did everything. We'll get one for uh, builders. Okay. Trust a carpenter instructor. So I. getting hungry if that's what that means yeah over the tents I have 19 people for housing of 18. Oh man. What? Oh. Build a horn blower to guide Umbu to the right path. Oh crud. We're behind! We're behind! We don't have a horn blower! Seems unsure which path to take at the upcoming crossword roads. Shicker. I'm just still there. 20. Do I not have enough trees? Selected. With how much I actually really need for trees, might as well just deforest this entire back. As bad as that sounds.
Choose your next resource. Scavenger hunt. Send workers out to scavenger resources and build and find new villagers or heal poison villagers using herbs. Uh, we'll go with the scavenger hunt first. Found a spot for fresh food for Ombu. Yeah. Ooh. See, I don't think we should send them out in the pink stuff. I think that's what will kill them. But I don't have any of the herbs yet. So how I wouldn't make any sense to really send people out. Oh, I need stone. Stone, 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 stone. Oh, I like that sound. What the heck are you? Moving to oh, he's a researcher. Ombu is under the jungle biome. Ombu yawns. He is very tired. He's been awake for a few days now. Yeah, I don't blame him for being tired. Sleep. Let's let the poor guy rest for now. Ah, uh, and it's about to rain. For now, we'll just do his a little smaller. Three farmers. So go down or up? Down. The higher it is, the worse it is, or the thirty is. Okay. Deciding to be a mess. They've been really active lately, and I don't know why. Anybody gonna? You don't have enough people, it's all good. Ah, I have to construct a kitchen now. Uh, we're gonna want a village doctor.
Come on. to his horn, so... Getting pretty full of water here. Love these types of games, but apparently I'm pretty bad at them. But then again, it's very strange on how some of this stuff works. The place that holds an ancient artifact containing forgotten knowledge. Okay, we need to get that scavenger thing up and built, like now. But what we need is more people. <clears throat> well, this requires wood planks and stone slabs. Between the horns. And we're off. We're not getting to the artifact. Unless we could somehow come around. We'll have to see about that. You know, if we got enough berries, I'm gonna take one of the berry guys off and we'll see from there. Coming up on a feeding spot. Ooh, there's a few settlements here. He eats a bunch of mushrooms. Alright. Unfortunately, I have some other stuff I gotta do today. So, I'm going to leave this episode here. If you guys want more, just let me know in the comments. You know, like the video, share the video, view the video, and let me know. So, that's been Wandering Village. I actually really like it, so I'm kind of curious. Maybe I'll just keep going anyways and, well, you know, when I have the chance, make another video. You guys got what I'm going with. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.